Let's begin by exploring transmission media. Transmission media refers to the physical pathways that connect computers, other devices, and people on a network, enabling them to communicate and exchange data. There are primarily two types of transmission media, guided media and unguided media. Guided media uses physical cables to transmit signals through a solid medium, while unguided media employs wireless transmission methods that use air or space as the medium. Let's dive into the world of guided media types. Guided media, also known as wired media, uses physical cables to transmit data signals. The most common types of guided media are twisted pair cable, coaxial cable, and fiber optic cable. Twisted pair cable consists of pairs of insulated copper wires twisted together, commonly used in local area networks or LANs. Coaxial cable features a single copper conductor at the center, surrounded by insulating material, commonly used for cable television and internet connections. Fiber optic cable transmits data as light pulses through glass or plastic fibers, providing the highest bandwidth capacity and immunity to electromagnetic interference. Here we will explore twisted pair cable in more detail. Twisted pair cable is a common type of guided media, characterized by its unique construction. It consists of pairs of insulated copper wires twisted together, which reduces electromagnetic interference, or EMI, and crosstalk. Twisted pair cables are commonly used for local area networks and come in various categories such as Category 5E, Category 6, Category 6A, Category 7, and Category 8. They use RJ45 connectors for termination and have a maximum distance of 100 meters, or 328 feet. There are two main types of twisted pair cables, unshielded twisted pair, or UTP, which has no additional shielding and is most common in office lands, and shielded twisted pair, or STP, which includes additional metal shielding and is better suited for noisy environments. Now let's discuss coaxial cable. Coaxial cable is another type of guided media, known for its distinctive design. It consists of a single copper conductor at the center, surrounded by insulating material, and an outer metallic shield that provides excellent noise immunity. Coaxial cable is commonly used for cable television, internet connections, and some network applications. It offers better shielding compared to twisted pair cables and supports longer distances of up to 500 meters. The bandwidth capacity of coaxial cable can reach up to 10 gigabits per second. Common types of coaxial cables include RG6, which is often used for cable television and internet, RG11, a thicker cable for longer runs, and RG58, a thinner cable used in legacy 10 base 2 networks. Let's explore fiber optic cable. Fiber optic cable is a cutting edge type of guided media that transmits data as light pulses through glass or plastic fibers. It offers immunity to electromagnetic interference or EMI, and provides the highest bandwidth capacity among all cable types. Fiber optic cables support extremely long distances, up to 100 plus kilometers, and are more secure than copper cables due to the difficulty of tapping into them. The bandwidth capacity of fiber optic cables can theoretically reach 100 plus terabits per second. There are two main types of fiber optic cables, single mode fiber, which has a smaller core and allows light to travel in a single path for longer distances, and multimode fiber, which has a larger core and allows light to travel in multiple paths for shorter distances. Now let's shift our focus to unguided media types. Unguided media, also known as wireless media, transmits data signals through air or space without the use of physical cables. The primary types of unguided media are radio waves, microwave, and satellite communication. Radio waves are electromagnetic waves with frequencies between 3 kHz and 300 GHz. They offer omnidirectional transmission and can penetrate walls and buildings, making them suitable for Wi-Fi and cellular networks. Microwave communication uses high-frequency radio waves, typically between 1 GHz and 300 GHz, for directional transmission and point-to-point -point communication. Satellite communication uses satellites as relay stations in Earth orbit 
to provide global coverage for television, internet, and phone services. Let's take a closer look at radio waves and their application in Wi-Fi networks. Radio waves are electromagnetic waves with frequencies ranging from 3 kHz to 300 GHz. They exhibit omnidirectional propagation, spreading in all directions, and can penetrate non-metallic objects like walls. However, radio waves are susceptible to interference from other devices, and their signal strength decreases with distance. Wi-Fi, a popular wireless technology, utilizes radio waves to enable wireless communication between devices and networks. Various Wi-Fi standards such as 802.11n, 802.11ac, and 802.11ax, also known as Wi-Fi 6, operate at different frequencies and offer varying maximum speeds. Now let's explore microwave and satellite communication in more detail. Microwave communication utilizes high-frequency radio waves, ranging from 1 to 300 gigahertz, for line-of-sight transmission between point-to-point -point links. It offers higher bandwidth compared to regular radio waves, but is susceptible to weather conditions. Satellite communication, on the other hand, uses satellites as relay stations to provide global coverage for various services like television, internet, and phone. However, Satellite communication introduces higher latency or signal delay and is also sensitive to weather conditions. These wireless communication methods play a crucial role in connecting people and devices across vast distances. Let's compare the various transmission media based on different factors. Twisted pair cable offers bandwidth up to 10 gigabits per second and a distance of up to 100 meters at a low cost. Coaxial cable also offers bandwidth up to 10 gigabits per second, but extends the distance to up to 500 meters at a medium cost. Fiber optic provides the highest bandwidth, reaching up to 100 plus terabits per second and distances up to 100 plus kilometers. Radio waves offer bandwidth up to 1 gigabit per second and cover distances from a few meters to kilometers at a medium cost. Microwave communication provides bandwidth up to 10 gigabits per second and distances up to 50 plus kilometers. Satellite communication offers bandwidth up to 1 gigabit per second. The choice of transmission media depends on specific requirements, including distance, bandwidth needs, environmental conditions, budget constraints, and security considerations. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit CodeLucky.com for more such useful content.